And we're along with Paul Schorenberg and Jennifer Lay today with, from the VA hospital in Poplar Bluff. And they're here along with the Homeless at Risk Program associated with the VA, uh, VA hospital. And good to have you all with us today. Thank you. Good to be here. Sure. And you're, you all serve on a very uh, important role when it comes to our veterans and uh, serving them, certainly the ones that uh, need services the most when it comes to uh, veterans past and present. And talk a little bit about your program that you all offer within this Homeless at Risk program. Well, our at-risk program um, was created out of an initiative and it was to help veterans who were experiencing homelessness since they've come back from battle and we wanted to um, help them you know, get back on their feet basically, find housing, um, find jobs, just, just get back on track. Okay, and uh, you talk about this homeless at-risk at program, certainly a lot of veterans out there that have uh, fallen on hard times, uh, fallen to homelessness, but uh, maybe some of those that are actually classified as homeless probably don't see themselves as homeless. So maybe y'all can speak to that effect. Right. Um, you know, veterans make up 11% of the population of the United States, yet there are over 30% of the homeless people in, uh, in the United States right now. So we're looking at people that not only are without housing, but maybe they're staying with a friend, staying with a relative, living out of their truck, living in a tent in the woods. Uh, all those people are considered to be uh, homeless. And then you also have the people that are at risk of being homeless, the people that just lost their job and maybe they're a few hundred dollars away from not being able to pay their rent. So we're looking at that whole uh, group of people. Sure, and you know, and they, these are the people that you really feel for. You know, they've, they've served a lot of times on war fronts and you know when it comes to being on the war front, PTSD, the things of those, uh, things of that nature, certainly you feel for these veterans mm -hmm. that aren't aren't being you know served the way that they they should, and it's re you know and the effort is to reach out to those uh, veterans that certainly could take advantage of these services, and that those are the people you feel for the most. Right, and uh, post traumatic stress disorder. Uh, PTSD, we've found that uh, either PTSD or some type of mental health issue, mm -hmm. over half of our homeless veterans are mm -hmm. fall in that category. So that's that's a contributing factor to the homelessness. Sure. And uh, maybe talk about, you know, if there's family members out there that know of their, uh, their family members or friends that could take advantage of this program with you all. Well, what's some services that could directly help them? Well, myself and Amy Helm, we're the two homeless coordinators there at the VA in Popper Bluff. And what our main job is, is to help veterans that are experiencing homelessness um, get emergency shelter. We have two contracted providers um, locally that we have um, partnered with to provide housing on a temporary basis to veterans to, again, help them get back on their feet. What we do once they come into our program and we've got their housing needs met, then we refer them to Mr. Schoenberg's program to help them with employment. We have other housing programs, uh, more long-term programs that we refer them to as well. But their, their main start is with Amy and I. Okay. And if anybody has any relative, friend, acquaintance mm -hmm. that they think needs our services, all they have to do is call 573-686-4151 and ask to speak with someone in the homeless program. That's, there's a whole building full of mm -hmm. us and uh, we'll assist them and it's all confidential. They don't have to worry about uh, their privacy being protected. Okay, and what it sounds like this program is comprehensive. It's not just a, a quick fix, uh, let's just get you somewhere to stay. It's, first of all, we're gonna get you somewhere to stay where you're safe and yes. you can have, you know, look after yourself properly, but not only that, work towards gaining employment long term. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a comprehensive program to help people in the long term yes. as well. Right, and we've gone with a new model, I think probably the last eight months or so, and it's called Housing First. The first thing we do with, with our homeless veterans is we, get, we place them in a residential care facility, mm -hmm. and then we have other means to get them their own housing, whether it's an apartment or a house. 
And that's the first thing we do. And we've found that once we do that, it really brings up their self-esteem and everything else becomes a lot easier as far as getting them employment and, and securing their future. Sure. And you all have a community outreach day, is that right? We do. August 21st at the Black River Coliseum in Poplar Bluff from 10 to 2. We have partnered with the Poplar Bluff Coalition to End Homelessness. We have an event where we'll bring agencies from around the community together to connect these individuals that may be having difficulties with housing, employment, um, getting them prepped for interviews, grooming needs, clothing needs, food pantries. We bring all these services together under one roof for the day and so we can connect individuals from the community to the resources that they need. And this is our fourth or fifth one this, this year. This is our fifth year. Okay. So, so yeah. a nice day to, for people to come out, seek more information about these uh, services in the program. Uh, just basically a, just informational day for anyone that's right. interested. A one day, yes. one stop. Okay. They do not have to be veterans to come to this program. We have opened this um, program up to veterans and non-veterans. You don't have to be currently experiencing a homeless situation to also be invited to this. Because um, again, there's a lot of resources that individuals might need and, and they don't feel like that they qualify for that because they're not homeless. That's not true. This is opened up for anyone in the community that feels like that there's a resource there that they need. Sure. And it sounds like uh, so the biggest allies out there for you all are friends and family to reach out to these uh, to these veterans to take advantage of this because you, you know as you can imagine probably plenty of veterans are proud and don't necessarily want to seek uh, you know seek a so-called handout uh, to, you know so you know it's reaching out to those folks and getting the help they need because it seems like uh, a lot of times they just need just to just a break. Yes. They need a break in life and to get back on their feet and right. to live a prosperous yes. life. Yeah. You know, right now they uh, estimate that the jobless rate among Americans is about 14.5%, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. And with our veterans, especially veterans between 20 and 30 years of age, it's 35%. So that's a, a, that's a major contributing factor also. Yeah. So very, very important program that uh, Jennifer and Paul here are involved with the Homeless at Risk program associated with the VA and your friends and family out there if you've got uh, friends and family that are veterans and you think that they could take advantage of this program uh, have them or yourself or anyone to, to look out for these veterans stop by this uh, community outreach day in Poplar Bluff at the Black River Call Sim on the 21st, and that's from two, 10 until 2. Mm -hmm. And do I have that right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Black River Call Sim of Poplar Bluff from 10 until 2, August 21st. And uh, let's get these veterans some help. Uh, certainly the ones Absolutely. need to be looked after the most. Uh, you know, they, mm -hmm. they did a great, they've done a great service for us and certainly need to look out mm -hmm. for them. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, anything else you all would like to share about the program or? Anything in general? Uh, just again, if, if you're a family member or you're a friend, you know someone that you feel like that one of these programs could help them, again, you can contact 686-4151 and ask for the homeless program. Again, there's a whole building of opportunities that could that help these veterans. Just give us a call. Okay. Well, uh, there you have it. Uh, get involved with the program. Is there anywhere online that they can seek information or anything of that sort there's some information online if they if they pull up google and type in va homeless program it'll it'll bring up a lot of information about about the different programs okay all right and don't forget about the community outreach day on the 21st 10 until 2 at the black rivers coliseum and poplar bluff and a very worthy program for all our veterans out there just need a little break and uh, get things uh, get their lives back on the right track and uh get taken care of and we appreciate you all stopping by today Thank to talk you. with us about the program and good luck with everything going forward. Thank, Thank you, you for helping us get the word out. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you.